Hi, welcome everybody. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 1st of June. Now it's winter here, it's absolutely freezing today, so <laughs> I just thought I'd get started and we'll just see what comes up for the 1st of June. Oh, I'm getting a song by the doors, Riders on the Storm. I think it's called Riders on the Storm. I think what they're trying to say to me is that we've been riding this storm, like literally, we have really been riding this storm. And I know out there you guys are getting really frustrated by all this and you're getting really um, <sighs> overwhelmed and annoyed. And this is what I said a lot about the fears rising up in people too. We've got to be very careful that we don't let our fears rise up thinking um, we're never going to win this battle. And, and and look, I always talk about this is, this is not a battle to win. This is about us navigating our life and, and living around all this garbage and nonsense that's going on. Now, we've had our battle. In the beginning, we fought very hard and, and we battled that storm and it, was, it wasn't easy. It was not easy for any of us out there. Whether you were up um, when Canada rose up or whether you've sort of joined us now on that blob movement on the journey moving forward with injuries, mandates, these kind of things and you've lost your jobs, lost your businesses, Gosh, it's destroyed lives. There's no mistaking about that. It has been indeed a storm. Um, but this is what I'm getting today. Is this um, that that's the feeling that I'm I'm getting? Is that um, a lot of you out there? Um, th there's really no end outcome, and this is what I keep saying when I talk about you know jumping over the hurdles and getting to the end of the race. There really is no end to this race. This this is becoming. Um, a sort of a way of living and a way that we have to adapt to and our <laughs> I talked the other day about us being chosen to share the information and um, um, plant seeds and, and seeds of doubt and all this sort of thing because I talked about the little Martian being picked up with the claw the other day well that's virtually our job because we are the ones who were awake first so when you think of an awakening process Somebody said out there, um, I'm not sure if it was Gail or Glenda, somebody said to me, um, it's like a metamorphosis. It's that we talked about the little frog, chain, um, the tadpole starts as the little egg and then it changes to the tadpole and into the frog. This is a metamorphosis process. So the awakening process is the breaking down of our soul's ego. Um, I know it feels like there has to be an end line, but there is, I feel there isn't an end line because this battle that we've been having is about us. And I, I talk about us being on the top of the mountain and putting those flags up. This is about conquering ourselves. We've gone through our soul breakdowns and we've transformed into somebody else. I think if you're watching my videos, you could pretty much say, you could pretty much say that you've actually, um, <clears throat> transformed as a person and that you feel um from example where we were two years ago that or two and a half now <laughs> that we feel stronger we feel happier we feel more whole we've removed a lot of um negative energy from our lives and we've we've changed we're back to our passions we're cooking we're playing guitars we're bushwalking we're drinking coffee martin you and i we love our coffee um and we're doing all sorts of things out there that are, that have changed our lives for the better now this is what these people waking up and now going through they have to go through that soul breakdown you can call it the dark night of the soul i've got a, i've got videos on the dark night of the soul and soul breakdowns and this is about our egos bringing um breaking down that ego it's like cracking open an egg um you have to crack it open and like i say hit rock bottom for the phoenix to rise back up that's what i said yesterday that's what they're going through so really this is a process of awakening i don't see it as a process of sometimes i do because we have a laugh on here don't we about the great reset because sometimes i think of these things here to just like trigger us to make us wake up or is this like a whole planned agenda that is actually to make everybody wake up? I mean, we know there's a few that are really not probably going to wake up. But I do believe that this is really a journey of the soul breakdown. And I just wanted to really highlight that today because it's about the ego breaking down. And you think about it, probably 
two, three, maybe five years ago, people were really into their status and image. It was very important what you did, what car you drove, how many boats, caravans, and all this stuff, camper vans, and all this you had. Image was very important. How many cars you had, were they flash, were they over $70,000? This was something that was really starting to get out of control. And I do believe we sort of had to hit this tipping point. Now we're all being taken back by the breakdown of our souls to who we really are um, at the core of our being. And these things almost come to test us. I know, look, I get triggered and I get tested all the time as well. <laughs> Yesterday, I, I think I was talking to you guys about how now here in <laughs> Australia, I'm sure it's happening where you are, they're talking that the... Um, the jab has now caused the blood clots. I mean, not the jab, rather. Oh, God. Uh, well, we know that that's what caused the blood clots. Sorry. They were saying that the CV virus causes blood clots. Now, we know that's not true. But that triggers us again because you see a video come up, no comments at the bottom, and some doctor on there carrying on about how... It's the VCV virus that causes blood clots and myocarditis and you know, then blaming everything. And now, like I said, they're putting lies over rugs over lies over rugs over lies and all this kind of stuff. Um, and this is very constant. This this is the journey that we've been seeing. And, and this is why it causes us still to have that frustration as well because we have to see past all this stupidity and nonsense. And that's why on this channel... I often laugh and we have a giggle, you know, laughing about the graffiti on all the posters we were going to do yesterday. Like, it's pretty funny. You do have to have a laugh um, because otherwise, like I say, you'd be on the floor in a fetal position crying, like your life's all gone pear-shaped. And, and that's what I'm kind of getting here is is this, these people are now going through that process of, of grief and um, sort of, it's not really self-destruction, but it's that breaking down of of their lives now are breaking down so that they get to the core of who they are. So we're over here, we've already figured all that out. So <laughs> you can wear that as a badge of honor <laughs> that you've already, we could write awoken, already awake, whatever you want on our badges here in Terra Bella, um, because that's really what it is. You're wearing that badge of honor because the reason, because you're awake, you're able to see things. I always talk about it. You can see things from that higher perspective. You can see things from the mountain. Um, you know, this this is what it's all about. Um, th this is what I'm sort of um, getting to, that when you go into those different dimensions as well, which is what the awakening process does, it allows you to tune into your senses, to your, um, your visual stimulation, your everything, every aspect of your life kind of just opens up. Um, you know, we've talked about that um, with the lotus a while ago as well, like out of that mud and all that terrible experience we went through, like the riders on the storm sort of thing, out comes this beautiful lotus flower and all the petals open up and there we are, the new us <laughs> and maybe the new earth. But <laughs> um, that they're the examples that the guides are giving me today and I just really want you to hold that today and really focus on that's what this is about. Um, this is not about it all being over and, oh my gosh, it's all too hard. Because I feel the same way. I understand. If you're feeling that way, I get it. But we have to remember this is about breaking people's souls down. And it's an, um, that breaking down of the ego um, because we have to get back to that very simple life and the basics um, to make ourselves feel good again. Because during life, we can pick up a lot of things and we can um, pick up a lot of pains and hurts and negative experiences. And this is like, to me, it's that shedding shedding of that. I mean, if you think of a snake, um, they shed their skin a lot. You know, they sort of slither out of their old skin and they leave their old skin over here. Well, that's kind of the image of us. We leave our old um, traumas and past hurts behind us. And then we move into our new world, which is, as we've called it, Terra Bella, a place of peace, happiness, love, um, not fear. We don't. That doesn't really enter into our um, where we're living at the current moment. It can, and that's why I warned you the other day about not letting like fear come over us again and going, oh God, are these people ever going to wake up? Well, that's not, you know, as much as we plant the seeds and help them, 
that's also not our journey. So, you know, at times we do get fearful because we feel like they're going to slip back. <clears throat> and, you know, that's something else that we do talk about. But that's why it's so important that we've been the chosen ones because we have the ability to share those experiences. We have the ability to plant the seeds, to, to keep fertilizing and watering um, all the information that's out there and keep sharing it and spreading it on our platforms. You know, we are fairly fearless. You think about how many people have been fact-checked and taken off social media in our new world over here of fighting back against tyranny, dictatorship. You know, it's a very complex story, I have to say. It's not an easy story. I often, in my early videos, talked about us reading the storybook about the um, the <laughs> the person in 10 years' time reading this story to their children about um, the great COVID agenda and how these terrible, evil men were trying to take over the world and people had to stand up and fight back for their freedom. You know, this is probably what we're going to be doing in 10 years' time. Fingers crossed that's what we're doing in 10 years' time. <laughs> we're just reading books about all this because it is a very confusing story, I have to say. There's all these different aspects to the story. It's not just plain sailing and everybody jump over here now. It, that's not what this story is about, is it? And I think anyone watching my videos, we know it's not smooth sailing so there's a song for us today by the doors um riders on the storm i'm pretty sure that's it go and check it out um maybe there's a message in there we're meant to receive today you know me i always get a little bit of music and things like that please take care please stay strong and look i'll put my dark night of the soul video over here or here <laughs> somewhere and maybe go check that out because this is an awakening process of the breaking down of the soul so everybody awakens at their own pace so we've also got to have very good patience in this journey <laughs> so look have a wonderful day everybody i just wanted to touch base and just clarify a few things there today so um be strong stay brave enjoy your terra bella today because i'm going i'm going to go outside the sun shining as much as it's freezing and we're on the first day of winter oh lucky ducks over there you all got summer coming Oh, jelly. I'm very jealous. <laughs> anyway, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye from Australia. Take care. Bye.